Hey guys, what is up? This is Dal Su with Dal Su Plays. We're doing a little bit more Factorio today. We just got attacked savagely, I might add, by, uh, I don't even know what you call the damn aliens, but they were all up in here. I think they had came from over here. They had came. Uh, yeah, that's how you conjugate that. Anyway, they came from over this direction, I believe, and tore up some things, but my robots managed to kind of fix it all, so. Or, I feel like, not in a good enough position vis-a-vis electricity we're kind of like on the cusp but what we're gonna be doing and what I would really like to get uh, under control because everything from here on out it's just all chips it's blue chips it's red chips everything requires these three things and those things of course require lots of copper so we've been having some kind of traditional problems here with copper uh, Especially like in our logistics network, we just don't have enough. So you can see it's negative seven. It means we have a huge demand for copper that's being unfulfilled. Uh, the demand is coming mostly from these two things who are putting it on this belt, which and then turns into wire, um, which supplies our chips. Anyways, you guys know all this if you've been watching. I don't need to keep rehashing it. I rehash it for myself as well, just because damn if it doesn't get confusing. Uh, also here, we're requesting quite a lot of copper. So, what we want is to really build up this little area over here that we'd started, where we have copper and stuff. But in order to do that, it requires a lot of electricity, and electricity uh, is kind of not something that we're super comfortable with right now. Let's take a look. We recently expanded our facilities down here. See, we're, we're, we're kind of right there on the border, you know? So what we need to do is basically increase our, our power capacity quite a lot. Shouldn't have any problem doing that. We've got plenty of uh, coal, which is one of the things you need. And... Why did I bring the coal line here? I'm not even sure. I have enough robots to where whatever I want to do should be pretty easy, logistically. But uh, I do need to pick up some raw rock in order to get boilers. Let me do that. Um... I guess I could have just requested it. Anyway, forgot that I had it there in that chest. 14 boilers should be enough to get us started with a new little power factory. Power plant, whatever you want to call it. And uh, where do we want to do this? I guess we have a lot of space over here that's not really being utilized. Is it inside the grid? It's not quite inside the grid. I'd like to put it inside the grid. And then get my robots to do my dirty work. That's how I like to roll, you know. Uh, so... What's the first thing we want to do here? Roboport, probably. And... Kind of clear some space. I definitely don't need this, robots. Next time you see me, take that away. So, I'm probably just going to come to about right here and throw down a roboport. Then I will tell the robots to get rid of all these damn trees. That is the extent of my power poles, so I will want some more of those as well. We can never seem to keep ourselves stocked with, with those in particular. Uh, 36 construction robots should be able to do this. Let's just um, pick up all those trees. Let's see how fast they do that, and then we'll use that as a, a, a thermometer <laughs> to sort of gauge how well our robots are doing. They're a lot faster than they were when we originally made them. Yeah, they come from all the way over there. Sometimes they come from quite far afield to do this kind of thing. So, great. Yeah, that's that's pretty quick. I've got my RoboPort now. I'm going to put it about right here where it's connected. And then that should make it fairly easy to get rid of all of these trees, which is what we want. Let's get that process started. And let's configure... I don't know why I even have these. Take those away as well. Um... Gonna need those. What else am I gonna need? I need power plants. I was under the assumption I had built some, but I might have used them all. Okay, so give me ten of those. Give me two pumps. Uh, I don't seem to have a whole lot of pipe. So I'd like quite a bit of pipe as well. Um, yeah. Got eight of these. I think that's enough. I don't need this. Take that away. I'm going to need some arms, of course, as always. And anything else? 
I think that's probably pretty good. I am gonna need a requester chest for the coal. Go ahead and build a couple of those. And yeah, we should be pretty well suited for our purposes now. It's gonna take a minute to build all that stuff. We will shed a little light on the situation. And there we go. So these I only have 36 construction robots. It's really not enough for all this. But um, also they're going to miss out on some of their repairs, some of their duties elsewhere. I quite like how it shows you where you've set things to be destroyed. A little bit of stone right there too, don't I? Never realize. All right. I can help them along with a few well-placed shotgun blasts. I think I'm going to do pump, pump, and then just extending out this way a whole lot of uh, boilers, or burlers, as we might say in New Orleans. So yeah, let's get that, uh, let's get this bad boy started with a pump right there, and I'll use, I'll use pipe for right now uh, as just a substitute for the uh, eventual bullets. Or shells, don't call them bullets. Alright, um, another pump would be about right here, I guess. We don't want them very far away because we want the line running right up the middle. I want to make sure it's inside the red. Dang it. It's going to have to be up here in order to be inside. Quester chest. Put it right there. Okay, then it's going to... Oh, one block over. Right there. Perfect. Alright, so we want the coal to come down this way. And then it's going to be loaded up. Do two different, two different boilers. One. It needs to be like here is fine. I'm going to have to... Yeah, okay, we'll do like that. I think that's okay. It's connected to the water there. And we're going to be placing this pipe with boilers. I just really don't, I don't know what the formula is uh, for boilers, uh, for the boiler ratio, right? I need to just request. Tell you what, cancel the copper. Bring me 50 stone. I know I'm in range. So grab the stone for me. They're gonna bring me that. That's gonna be excellent. Two with some more bastion surges too. I'm gonna have to re-request copper here in just a second. Main thing is I need boilers. That's gonna take just a second. But yeah, I think that ought to be close to enough boilers. Although I don't really know the ratio, like I was saying. I, I could probably benefit from a little closer study, but I'm not that kind of a gamer, really. Uh, so we're going to pick up, pick up, load the boilers. Never enough of these damn arms. I'm going to put one right there, too, obviously. And he is going to request coal. We'll go ahead and get that started. 50 ought to do her. A few more arms. And I suppose I can go ahead and start laying these puppies down. Want to do it that close? Why don't we leave room for more boilers in the future? Should we, should we change our mind? I think that's fine. It's better to leave a space for power poles, of course. So you're going to be there. I'd like two more, please. One more. Boom. Also, this area is not really protected, it occurs to me. Probably going to want to extend my wall just to be on the safe side. 
they haven't really wised up to this gap yet, and I don't think that they will for some time. I mean, these guys rush in, they might. I don't know. We'll see. We've got repair robots everywhere that can repair shit, so it's not really too scary to be attacked like it used to be. All right, so let's make sure we've got uh, power poles in all the appropriate places. That looks like it'll work. And we'll do a long power pole to over here. Get ourselves nice and hooked up there. Uh, we're also going to want power poles down here, obviously. Can't put it there. It'll block the pipe. If I put them here, it'll block a future boiler. That's not such a big deal. It could also go under with the pipe. I like that solution. It also leaves me a nice place to walk. But it kind of... Uh, Makes it impossible to do future expansion of the uh, boiler area. All right, so there we go. We're gonna have to crank up the power on everything else, but I keep getting distracted by. Oh, I hate to see that little nuclear symbol. It means something was destroyed. But it doesn't look like there's anything attacking us there, so. I guess crisis is uh, temporarily averted. All right, let's power this bad boy up. One there. What? For Christ's sake. Are they still attacking there? I don't understand. I don't see any symbols. Oh, there was a symbol, but it just disappeared. Okay, I'm going to assume we're safe over there, so please cut the noise out. Let's go on the other side. Really, really. That's a separate attack. Okay. <laughs> Playing peaceful mode sometimes. It's just, that sound is grating after a while. I should, I, I'm sure there's a way to turn it off. But anyway. Uh, we don't need this little tail end here. Okay, so what's the issue? Is it not enough coal? It's possible that we might be lacking in coal in our system, or it might just be a robotic issue. It looks like we have a little bit less coal than we've been accustomed to, so that's an easy fix. We're gonna want a passive provider chest somewhere over here. Okay, we're gonna have to go check this out. Obviously, some something is going on. I don't know what? But something is going on over here. What the hell is it, guys? Where where am I stuck? I'm stuck in all these pipes. What the hell is going on? What is this horse shit? Jesus. Okay, so the problem is there's still critters here that are attacking. It's just that our robots repair it faster than they can destroy it. So essentially, we need two more of these things. And the problem goes away. Good deal. We are going to need more robots in the future. But I have my setup, my system all set up to produce them whenever I get ready to. I guess we won't sweat it at the moment. Um, okay, where was I? Yeah, we need more coal in our system. And we do have this line that's just... I don't know what it's doing here. Was, was I going to use it for something? I can't remember. Uh, but for right now, anyway, we'll just go ahead and collect it for our system. Easy fix. Two clicks. Or four clicks, whatever. Yeah, she's gonna load up coal. Sometimes it's better to do two. Two arms, like one of these numbers here, just to make it happen a little bit faster. Oops, not there. The bad spot. How about here? That'll go twice as fast. As long as we're not limited by the amount of coal. So that should make sure we have enough. And yeah, we have successfully increased our power. Well, actually, we're not finished yet. There's some piping that needs to be done. Okay. This will double our power production. Right? Good deal. Now we're all done for now. 
And we are ready to turn our attention to the copper mines, which have been a pain for a while. It seems like iron is backing up again, which is good news. Yeah, that's great news. So we want to cancel this and instead we want 100 copper at all times. How is copper doing in the system? Not very well. Now we have a lot of iron in the system, which is great news. But we still suffer from copper. So we're going to fix that. We're going to do everything we can do now that we have the power. Quite literally. And I guess these tanks are getting full again. Hmm. I suppose I could just add two tanks. Kind of a quick fix. Let's do that. Alright, fix that problem. Now, let's take a look at what's going on here. We are not producing enough to offset all the requests. It's obviously not a robot issue. It's also obviously not an ore issue. We have more ore than we can handle. So what we're going to do, is for right now anyway, is add two electric furnaces. Pretty simple. Low-tech shit. Uh, I'm going to get this guy out of the way. Doesn't seem to hurt anything. Uh, this guy just needs to be a smidge lower. Like right there. And we should be good to go on this. Um... All right, we're going to need two passive provider chests. Extend this line a tiny smidge. Up the ore. I suppose I'll do it here. Is that a requester chest? Don't use a requester chest for this. Both seem to be out of power. Boom. All right. Check our attacks real quick. Looks like... Uh-oh, if they attack there... Oh, they're in my base. I, I see them now. They did uh, pull a fast one on me. Go ahead and build two turrets while I'm running. Get all these guys heading down with repair packs to fix up shit. They keep getting in my base. Airing stuff up. You guys. Ah. Ah, I can't even get through to them. Let's go all the way around while they destroy shit. All right, there's the turret. Fuck off. Seriously. Hate you guys. Still getting shot. Oh my god. Die! Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck off. Fuck out of here! Damn it. It's okay, you can do your autosave pain in the ass. Alright, so I'm just gonna rush down here. That's the first time I've died. That's not bad. But anyway, we know we have a, a weakness. Actually, it's good. We can prevent the damage that's about to happen. And I just realized we haven't researched anything this episode either. Sometimes I'm a bit lax on the research, actually. Uh, here we go. Yeah, they're coming around. Hurry up. Hurry up and build the turret. Hurry up. How are they coming from above as well? Am I going to die again? I'm going to lead you up here to all my turrets. Oh, God. Jesus. Tell me I'm going to die again. I had researched better armor. I did, I just haven't made it yet. Because it requires blue chips. Everything that's holding this back requires blue chips. 
Alright, let's fix this damn problem. See if we can continue on with our game, shall we? It didn't seem to actually blow anything up, except for whatever this is. Jesus Christ. We have no repair down here. That was kind of a mistake. I didn't expect an attack. It has happened. Regardless of my expectations. Come on through. He's gonna keep shooting me, but... I've gotta put this turret down. We need a robo-port over here is what we need. Now what? Seems we're okay. Yeah, I need uh, I need a turret here. And a robo port and fix this wall, so that'll take just a second. Fine. Robo port it up. Make sure it's nice and connected first. There we go. All right, let's fix our wall here. I see they can actually sneak through here. So that was that was my fault. I didn't bring it all the way down. A little bit more tight. A little bit tighter. Whatever you want to say. All right, so again, our progress is massively delayed by biter attacks, but, oh Jesus Christ, oh my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Okay, so we've got to go back in time a little bit. Waiting on that robo port, but see where do they come in from? We gotta fix this. We can leave this for right now, but more importantly, we need to fix the the larger issue which is that we have gaping holes in our base. Okay, so I want to seal this off, right? And I think that will deter them. I think. Shit. Too late, I'm too late, I'm too late, I'm too late. Follow me to your death, hopefully, if I can make it. I doubt I can. If I get on the path, I can walk faster. Fast escape, fast escape. It's been a challenging episode. I'm glad I left that turret there. Okay. I, I live yet a little bit longer, but they're destroying all my shit. Come on, follow me, follow me. Don't destroy my base. Follow me to your doom. So that is exactly where they're coming through and fucking things up for everybody. Run down here. Run away. Alright, so he managed to deal with them. Well, hopefully, yeah. They almost got that turret, but they didn't. Hmm. I think there's still some in here, sort of, screwing things up. Yeah, there are. Did I get them? Nope. Alright. Fix, fix my damn piping system here. Alright, so that'll repair all that. What else did you heathens destroy? You vandals at the gate. Not that much from the looks of things. But yeah, I definitely want to seal that off, put a turret there. At all possible. This area has now been cut off. That's probably why we're suffering from a coal shortage. In the first place. Yeah, this episode's running a little bit long because I died and 
I want to make sure this shit is kind of sorted out. There, now we've got power to that one. Don't we? No, actually. We've disconnected ourselves from power, power entirely. Because of this one being destroyed, looks like. Okay, so we're increasing our defense and security all the time. We're learning where our leaks are by actually being, you know, voraciously attacked. And I do want to put a nice turret over here, but I don't seem to have the resources at the moment. Good defense over there, though. Alright, guys, we've ran, run a little bit long this episode, but I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are, too. I uh, I would apologize for my, you know, a couple deaths there, but this game is hard. I managed to go 12 hours without dying, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. See you next time.